Hello everyone, my name is Jean Maria and today I am going to talk about the movie called All Good Things. So though the title may sound a bit optimistic, a lot optimistic, the movie is actually really tragic. And what makes it even more tragic is that it's based loosely on true events. Before we begin talking about the plot, so the producer and the director of the movie was Andrew Jarecki, and the actors are actually very famous. You probably have heard the name of Kirsten Dunst or Ryan Gosling. So you can read a bit more information on my website, readermaria.com. You guys should know it by now <laughs> if you're watching my channel. And I think it is pretty cool, and you guys should all check it out. Link in the description. So, now the plot. The main characters here are David Marks, in real life Robert Durst, and his wife, Casey McCarthy Marks, whose real name was Kathleen McCormack. They married in 1970s, I think in 1972, in USA, New York. And David Marks was the son of a multimillionaire called Sanford Marks, same or Durst in our life. So when David and Kathleen married each other, they didn't know what they were getting into. They didn't know what they were signing. Kathleen was the one mostly affected. She didn't know how David's mother died and how he watched her falling to her death from the roof or just how psycho David is. Even though he's rich with probably some kind of education, he's still a psychopath and a very bad person. I know it is spoilers, but probably if you know about the movie, you probably should know about what happened in real life. First of all, he made Kathleen do an abortion. Then he was abusing her mentally, physically. And then, oh God, I know. It's not really proven that he murdered Casey, his wife, but she went missing on January 31st of 1982, and her body has never been found. That's creepy. In 2017, she was announced that she was dead, but still, her body was never found. So a few other people died in 2000s when the investigation was finally open, and probably they were somehow connected with Kathleen's death. We never know. Right now, David Marks, I mean Robert Durst, is free and he's an investor. And yeah, you should probably wonder, why is he so happy after what he has done, Maria? That doesn't make sense. Was he not suspected? Or just no way? Yes, but remember, he's rich. He's the son of a multimillionaire and uh, the whole police was bought. Well, that's a big theory, of course. Everyone was bought. And by the way, the whole investigation was uh, open only in 2000s, 18 years after Kathleen's death, so nobody actually had proof, physical proof, that he could have murdered her. So guys, that is why you don't marry a multimillionaire who is also a psycho. Just stay away from these, especially if he's a psycho. I'm just saying, they will not change. But I heard that around early 2019s, the investigation will be up again, and uh, he used to be at the court, and uh, he will be at the court again for the possible murder of his friend in 2000s. So guys, nothing is lost yet. You can read more information on Kathleen Durst on my blog. And uh, I left some links there to New York Times report and uh, to the video report. You can just watch it. And it tells you more information about the Durst's themselves. So about the movie and the actors. I think they played very well. Even though I spoiled the whole movie for you, you still need to watch it. It's not one of those mysterious movies, detectives, where you don't know who the murderer is or the antagonist, and then your closest friends betray you. No, it's the movie that you need 
to just watch and make conclusions yourself. The very curious question I asked myself was how did Robert Durst react to the movie where he was the main antagonist? And to my surprise, he reacted pretty well. And you know, I don't think that's the reaction you should get. But at the same time, if we look from his perspective, if he acted all mad or sulky or just don't respond to anyone, then probably that would prove even more. But still, another curious thing is that while Robert Durst was um, in the washroom during the court, no, it was not the court, it was actually the movie he was in again, basically the people forgot to turn off his mic, microphone, and he went to the washroom with it. And there, probably, he didn't expect anyone to listen. He said, there it is, you're caught. What the hell did I do? Kill them all, of course. If that was a joke, then Durst probably has a very dark and unfunny sense of humor, I may say. Yeah, that is all I gotta say. And food for thoughts. I think, it's just my opinion, that the person cannot change. Cannot like, the person cannot be fixed. He or she cannot change. When Kathleen realized how terrible and awful David was, I think she had to run faster than light away from him. But it's just my opinion. And by the way, she didn't have experience. She didn't know what would happen to her. So what do you guys think? Comment down below. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to visit my blog, readermaria.com. And uh, share it. It's pretty cool. It's worth sharing. Bye.